continuing uh, talking about the tax loss harvesting i did one uh, episode earlier so this is the second one uh, first of all you need to understand that uh, the gains tax whatever whether it is long term capital gains or short term capital gain there is something called a set on and a set off so if you make profit in one transaction and you make a loss in another transaction you can set it off that is the reason why you are doing something called tax loss harvesting so uh, let me give you an example you have bought some shares in which you made about uh, 2 lakhs of profits you have bought one more share where the price has fallen uh, 30% or uh, something like that and you are seeing losses of 70000 rupees right so you don't uh, feel like I mean, you are not going to sell the share. You are going to keep it for the long term, and it is a short term capital loss as of today. And you have not booked the loss. So what can you do? You can sell off the share and buy the share again on the next day. Uh, why I have said in my previous uh, episode, and uh, claim that as a set off against the uh, capital gains that you will pay. So you will have a short term capital gain of two lakhs. Against that, you will set off your uh, short-term capital loss of say thirty thousand rupees or sixty thousand rupees and pay tax on the net basis. That is one advantage of setting off. Uh, setting off on the uh, also uh, when should you do it? Most people try to do all this in the month of March, and uh, that's that's not a sensible thing to do. Throughout the year, whenever prices fluctuate, if you see a short-term capital loss or a long-term capital gain or a long-term capital loss, you should keep booking. You should also book at least one lakh of long-term capital gain every year, even if you do not hope to sell that share. Let's say you bought one share, bought one hundred shares, uh, one thousand shares of a particular company at one hundred rupees. Uh, now the price is two hundred rupees. So which means you have one lakh of long-term capital gain. Sell it off at two hundred rupees and buy it back at two hundred rupees after a day or two, because. Of course, you are taking a price uh, risk for a day or two, but it is still worth it. But don't do it on the same day. So here, what happens is you have uh, increased the uh, price in your books. Instead of a hundred rupee share, now you will be holding a two hundred rupee share. So that next year, if the price goes to three hundred rupees, you should again uh, uh, re keep repeating this because every year one lakh of rupees is tax free. So whatever is your long term capital gain book it whatever is your short term capital gain book it whatever is your short term capital loss book it and claim a set off don't book your short term capital gain just because uh, there is a year end coming don't do that but if you have a short term capital loss please book it and even if you don't have enough short term capital gain it can be carried forward so just keep booking all your profits and your losses i mean if you want to hold on to a share and keep and uh, hope to earn long term capital gain it is definitely worth it but if you are going to uh, anyway sell a share you might as well keep booking your uh, doing your tax loss harvesting and uh, doing it on a continuous basis rather than on a year end basis and like i said even in my previous uh, uh, episode there are two ways to do it one is uh, do it within your account buy it on a sell it on a monday and buy it on a tuesday or you can do it even in your uh, uh, related account your huf or your minor uh, or your children or your major children uh, your wife any of these accounts you can uh, you can be buying while you are doing the selling because it remains within the house uh, the, uh, there are advantages. First is you uh, break out of uh, loss aversion. You are always afraid to sell at a loss. Now at least you are telling yourself, well you are not selling at a loss, you are anyway going to buy it back. Let us say you sold the share at 70 rupees and after 2-3 days you find the share at 5 rupees less, let's say 65 rupees. You have a choice of buying it back or actually rethinking about whether to buy it at all. right? So maybe there is something wrong with that share which you missed and therefore the price is falling. So at least this forces you to break out of that loss aversion uh, worry that uh, you had. Uh, second, uh, I would always look at trying to reduce the size of my portfolio, right? So if you, it anyway gets long because you decide that you will have only 20 shares, then you end up adding something, something, something and it becomes 28 shares. So constantly reviewing your portfolio and making sure that you come back to this uh, level at which you wanted to be, the focused portfolio that you wanted to be. Uh, that way, that way it helps. It means you will uh, get rid of shares which were anyway not good. Uh, it might also force you to rebalance your portfolio on a regular basis, either for industry-wise or geography-wise or you know more debt to equity. It forces you to think regularly and every month, right? 
and because of the fact that you booked your uh, capital loss or you booked your capital gain let's say long term capital gain you have reset the price so tomorrow uh, when you are selling you will pay less tax right so these are the advantages of uh, doing tax loss harvesting only thing is don't overdo it in such a way that you end up paying a lot of brokerage so if you are paying higher brokerage then you have to be careful and also don't book uh, do don't do the sale and purchase on the same day i've said this many times because then suddenly you will find if you go to your broker's report that there is a lot of speculation gain lying in your books right if you buy in the morning and sell in the evening the software itself knows that it is a speculative transaction and it appears as a speculative transaction so the purpose is loss so be careful about what you are doing and be rest assured that some babu hearing this uh, video will see how to plug it so be ready for it being plugged as of now this is a good thing to do many hnis have always been doing it i mean i've been advocating this for the last 30 40 years i'm surprised that i did not make a video about this till arti decided to do a story uh, about this thank you